Brother Island is an uninhabited island of ruins in the East River of New York City. It is the most unexpected of places in a city like New York. It is a secret hiding in plain sight. It has been abandoned for the last 50 years or so, since 1963. But from the 1880s all the way up to the 1960s, it was home to thousands of people. In the late 19th century, there was this constant scare of contagious diseases with the huge burgeoning population of New York City, and diseases were always making headlines. And so that's when North Brother Island came into prominence as a quarantine hospital. You step onto it, and all of a sudden, you are in the middle of the city, and yet you're completely alone. It's an experience that I've never had anywhere else. It's like you're walking back into time, into another world, and yet you still hear the sounds of the city. One time I even heard the Mr. Softy truck, which is an ice cream truck, and I heard that, and it was, it was bizarre because on the one hand, that's part of the living, that's part of the present, the world of the living it's, that is New York City, vibrant and alive, and yet I was in one of these abandoned buildings which hasn't been used in, in decades. And so being on the island is, is full of contrast. The most interesting building on North Brother Island by far is the Tuberculosis Pavilion. It was never used for its intended function. By the time it was completed in 1943, the threat of tuberculosis had passed, and there really wasn't the need to quarantine people on islands like North Brother anymore. And so it was used mostly for housing, for the returning veterans after World War II, and later on for the juvenile delinquents. I like to think that my photographs tell more than just what's there now, they allude back to the past. And certainly when they're paired with a historic photograph, you can get a sense of what happened before, but also how quickly things disintegrate. And then I read this wonderful book called The World Without Us by Alan Weissman. And it discusses what would happen to the world if people just left and nature took over. And it made me realize that the work I was doing was not just a look into the past, but it was a look into the future, and that these photographs show what would happen to New York City and the world around us if people just suddenly left, and how quickly nature would just reclaim what is hers. It alludes to the, the conundrum that we face of living in a natural world which we try to alter, but it always reasserts itself in the end. <laughs>